good evening, Southeast Texas. An active day for about half the area. Right now, we're looking at just some leftover high clouds across Southeast Texas at the Horseman's Western Store. 77 degrees over in Orange. Almost nine tenths of an inch of rainfall on the roofing 911 Skycam network. And with lower rain chances and hotter temperatures, it looks like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, mosquito activity will be at extreme levels, particularly at dusk and dawn. Across our area, the rains that we saw earlier today are have dissipated, I should say. Boy, some pretty heavy rainfall in West Port Arthur and uh, back over in towards, let's say, uh, just west of Mid County, also around uh, south of, uh, well, right around China, I should say, and uh, portions of Newton County. Yeah, one to two inches over the area fell, uh, mainly in through eastern sections of our viewing area and over the triangle, even orange uh, picking up rainfall. So pretty good coverage in the triangle today. Right now, temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s and across the state. Temperatures are mainly into the 80s, a few 70s across the state. Otherwise, shower and thunderstorm activity that we saw today is winding down and it was caused by a disturbance moving right down I-10 into our area, interacting with daytime heating or instability and moisture to produce those showers and thunderstorms. And again, the mean flow or the steering currents brought that disturbance right down into Southeast Texas, producing the showers and storms. Tomorrow the high will build in and become stronger. So rain chances will be going down tomorrow and also say Saturday. Then on Sunday, the high moves away and we'll start to see a trough of low pressure move through the Midwest and on into the Southeast, taking a cold front close to the lakes area, maybe into the lakes and stalling it. Unfortunately, it doesn't make it into the triangle the way it looks now. Tropics are quiet. Everything expected to be quiet the next five days, which is excellent news. Tonight we're done with any rainfall and it looks like tomorrow we will see uh, partly cloudy skies after lows in the mid to upper 70s. Again, that heat advisory in effect from one to seven. It looks like during the afternoon hours, a weak sea breeze may attempt to develop. We'll give it a 20 to 30 percent coverage. On the Gulf of Mexico, looking at slightly choppy seas around 1 to 2 feet in your coastal marine forecast in the south wind at 5 to 10. Our forecast tonight, decreasing cloudiness, warm and humid, lows in the mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow, a 30 percent coverage triangle, 20 percent lakes. High temperatures will be into the mid 90s, but you got to figure in those heat indices anywhere from about 103 to maybe 109. Yellow bar day tomorrow because of that 30% coverage inland southeast Texas and in the triangle, 20% coverage in the lakes area. Again, highs in the mid 90s. Rain chances go down, but not out as we head towards the weekend. And then Monday, good chance of rain and thunderstorms up in the lakes. We'll go with a 30% coverage in the triangle, but those will increase the chances significantly Monday night into Tuesday with that weak front stumbling somewhere across southeast Texas. No cooling here in the triangle, so it will remain warm, humid in uh, the next uh, several days.